What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Lorwyn flashback draft. Ideally, we'll win this one, and we'll make all our opponents look stupid, but not too stupid so that it affects their, uh, you know, it affects their self-esteem for the rest of their lives. Just stupid enough, I think, that they're like, "Oh man, I feel, I feel like I really look silly right now," and then they walk away. And but then they get like ice cream or something, and they're fine. So I think that's what we're going for here, and uh, we just have to wait for this eighth player to join. Copied your life game deck from MTGA last night. It did not disappoint. Very fun, nice build. Yeah, I had a, I had a second version as well, which I thought was better, but the first one was actually still pretty fun. A Johnny's, uh, a Johnny's welcome was pretty sweet. Surprisingly, surprisingly sweet, for the Cascade deck that was on MTG Arena. In case you guys are watching on YouTube, good game. You looked really stupid. <laughs> and if you guys are watching on YouTube, definitely check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. Uh, it is some of the most comfortable micromodal underwear and onesies and socks and lounge pants that you will actually find. Uh, they are extremely comfortable. And you'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns at meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. The link is in the description below. You can also check me out on Twitch and Patreon. If you want to support the stream, even if you guys just watch on YouTube, it really helps if you go over to the Patreon page. One dollar a month. I mean, it's just oh, a dollar a month. It helps me out. It's a great way to support the content. And, uh... You know, you could also subscribe through Twitch Prime, which is connecting your Amazon Prime account and your Twitch accounts, and do that through Twitch, even if you don't catch a live, because it is a great way to support the channel, even if you're just watching on YouTube. But I do like a Sig, but I also like a Briar Horn, and I like an Oblivion Ring. So what do we take here? Was just watching your YouTube video and saw you're on. Happy Monday, buddy. Happy Monday. Sig, Briarhorn, Eye Blight's Ending, or Oblivion Ring. These are the picks here, my dude. Is Sig nuts? Do we get to just play the Sig deck? I'll just take the Sig. And we'll see how, how sweet the Merfolk we can get is. We'll see how sweet the Merfolk we can get is. English degree, guys. English degree. Ladies and gentlemen, Frank, can we take a... Uh, we can take an emote photo Wednesday. That's the thing we can do. All right. Merfolk. Streambed Aquatex. That's probably what we're taking here. Because there's nothing else great. And this pack is actually not even that good. Nameless Inversion is a good one. But I want to take the Aquatex. I want to be immortalized on Twitch. With a Signet. <laughs> It's so bad that it's it's so bad that it goes back to good it's like a it's like a sphere it's a it's a loop it's a mobius strip of badness What do we got here? Benthicore. That's an interesting dude. You make two 1-1 one, one blue merfolk wizards, which is good with merfolk. And you tap two untapped merfolks to untap Benthicore and give it Shroud. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. There's also no other merfolks that I care about in this pack. I'm just going to go ahead and take the Benthicore. I actually just watched the Flat Earth documentary like two days ago, which is hilarious. Oh my god, what a what a, what a a feature. What an amazing... Oh, God, I can't even handle it, man. Have you ever listened to Black Moth Super Rainbow? I don't even know what that is. You might dig based on the stuff you were playing at the break. I don't even know what that is, actually. I can copy and paste that into my browser and find out, though. Interesting. I will take a listen to this. Secluded Glen, I like an Aether Snipe, even though it's not. It's definitely better than the Well Gabber. It's a 2 3 for damage that we dealt target tapped Merfolk or Kithkin. I'm going to take Aether Snipe, even if we're not. We're like just playing Merfolk Elementals, really. Ooh, we have a second for Black Moth Super Rainbow. Interesting. BMSR is what I would call it. All four of these cards are very, very good. So we're hoping we can keep up the good Merfolk train. 
The problem is all those merfolk that our opponent had in the last draft we did, they're all very highly sought after. The document is not the documentary is not trying to convince you that the earth is flat. The documentary was showing uh like interviewing and documenting the sect of people who believe that the earth is flat. Uh, and it's got some pretty sweet twists at the end where you're like, oh, wow, who saw that coming? Um, so I def definitely recommend checking it out. It's, it's pretty sweet. Uh, neck snap or paper fin rascal? Neck snap's pretty good. Paper fin rascal's pretty mediocre. I'm going to take the neck snap. Summon the school. This is, a, this is an amazing uh, fifth pick, sixth pick. Wow, that's fantastic. I'm on board for that. That's a good, that seems like a good sign. Uh, just wait till you go for their wiki and read the names of the band members. Oh God. Nosegad, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Oh, what happened? Bakachi died. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Six months in a row. Really appreciate you. Uh, Trickery is good. Whirlpool Whelm is also good. Hmm. I kind of like the Whelm better. Come on, Murphys. Where my where my Murphys at? Can't block. Can't be blocked and has shroud. Aquatex will is not terrible. I'll just take Scattering Stroke. It's a counterspell. I also, also I didn't read this. I didn't realize this was uncommon. That's kind of funny. Wow. Oh, now I'll take the Aquatex will. Okay. Uh, enchant tapped creature doesn't untap. This is actually just removal, I guess. Springleaf Drum is pretty good in Merfolk because it lets you tap all your Merfolk on a whim. Spell Stutter Sprite? We don't have any sprites. Fairies, not sprites. Familiar's Ruse? That's pretty good. I like that. Especially for bouncing any of these guys. <laughs> All right, you know what? You're not great, but I'll take you because you're a merfolk. Where are my good merfolks at? Come on. Yeah, we're not going to play this card. This is just the worst sig, right? Oh, the paperfin rapscallion came back. Okay. I'm here. We can start now. Oh, you already started. Okay, then. No, it's cool. Yeah, no worries. Uh, don't worry about it. I, you know, my my fault. No, but my bad. Hmm. Wow. All right. So somebody asked about if we can use this on their lands, and you can, but you can only activate it during your turn, so it's a little bit harder to do. Uh which means you can't really disrupt them that much. You can like during their during your upkeep, you could keep them off like a second blue if that's something you're about, or even a first blue, to make sure your spell resolves. But it's really hard to like screw their mana. Oh, is Death Render good? Plus two, plus two. Whenever it dies, you may put a creature card from your hand on the battlefield. Nah, I don't love that. I do like Regery and I like Mole Drifter, but I'm not sure which one is better here. Hmm. I think it's always Mole Drifter, but it actually might be Regery, so. Whereas, like, I feel like I can actually get more Mull Drifters. I don't think I'm going to get another Regery. I do like the Lord here. God, I really like Mull Drifter. All right, we're Regerying. Re Regerying. Thank you. 
Obi-Wan Foley, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Or no, welcome. Just welcome, I guess. That's just a regular old-fashioned welcome. Appreciate it. Uh, if I don't know the depths, when it becomes tapped, you can put a 1-1 one -one counter on it? Sure. Ego erasure, I don't care about. Creatures target player control gets negative two and lose creature types. Big deal. Pollen all I don't care about. Even changeling is great, but veteran of the depths is pretty busted. Oh, I think Muldrifter is 100% the most powerful evoke creature. Um, why has Hibberent not been paid for yet? Disappoint. Um, <laughs> well, all right. 2-2 two, two Merfolk Wizard. When it enter, when it becomes tapped, you pay two if you do return to permanent to its owner's hand. That's actually insane. Uh, I hate the art because I always feel like this is flying and it's not. But I think this card is also great in the Merfolk deck. So I'm going to take it uh, for obvious reasons. And when you activate an ability, if it isn't a mana ability, you may pay two. If you do activate an ability, I don't think we again, like. I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna pay two to copy this. I'm not gonna pay two to copy Sig because I'll just use Sig again. Yeah, we're not gonna take that. We'll probably just take Pestermite here. Wings of Velasvel is also nice, and it is a, a Merfolk, so you can tap something with Marrowedgery. It's also like a combat trick. Is that better than Pestermite? Maybe. Cause it's he marvelous he only a bumble. We could also use our own pestermite to tap things like veteran or surge burner. I want to take the pestermite. Oh, it's your boy. That's actually pretty sweet. I'd like this judge of currents, but I think silver galadip's way too good here, especially as an uncommon. Okay, actually, I think our deck is coming together pretty well here. I would like to replace these Paperfin Rascals with Streambred Aquatex. I don't actually understand how these are both commons. One is just head and shoulders above the other one. The 15-hour stream is going to be on Wednesday. This Wednesday, March 6th, starting at around noon. So... I should actually just put that in the description. Oh, Fallow Sage. All right. We're getting all the good uncommons, but we're not getting many of the good commons, ironically. That Kithkin was also very good. Rob with the command. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. Uh, Amiibo and Changeling is actually pretty good. I'm not going to take Protective Bubble or Kithkin Healer, I guess. That is a late ass Stony Brook angler. Wow. Is that eighth pick? What, 17 plus 5 is 22, 23? That's eighth picked? Wow. That's crazy. Oh, I'll just take a tangling money. trap. That's fine. Oh my god. I knew you were going to do it. I knew you were going to do it. As soon as you asked, I was like, oh my god. Badger, thank you so much, buddy. You <laughs> Jesus. What's wrong with you? Thank you so much, dude. You are ridiculous, and I don't actually even know how you exist, my friend. I'm going to take this deep tread marrow. Oh, my God. Target creature gains all types. Eh, it's actually another deep tread marrow. This guy could actually be fine. Any target, yeah, that's actually pretty good. I think that's probably better than, like, it's probably better than Paper Fin Rascal, to be quite honest. Badger, thank you so much, dude. What's wrong with me? Where do I start? Well, I have no, uh, I have no complaints. So that's got to be good, right?
Marrow Commerce. This is actually terrible. The only the only good thing about this card, actually, untapping your guys. Maybe it's not that bad because there's so many tap uh, cards that are relevant to being tapped. But yeah, the changeling is good because it it gets around a lot of tricks. So like if they have elves and they're trying to make a, an XX from their land, you can make one of their guys not an elf. Lucky, 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 lucky. I mean, this is a phantom draft, but I'm still going to take the friggin... I'm still going to take the friggin cryptic command. Wow, Cryptic Command followed by Sower of Temptation. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Well, now we're on to May Rent. So, Badger, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys for all your help with the May Rent. You guys are friggin' wonderful. And uh, I'm going to take this Sower of Temptation. I really, I waited on taking it because I wanted you guys to just really appreciate that it was a sweet-ass Sower of Temptation. But, um, yeah, first two picks being Cryptic Command and Sower of Temptation is, uh, that's something. Oh, stream bed Aquatex. It's your boy. Dawn Fluke is cute, but no one cares. Wispmare is nice to have, uh, but I think we're just taking the Aquatex. Fairy Wizard Buck. Thank you so much, man. Spaghetti Toucher one for the Fairy Wizard. Nicely done. Uh, there's another Pestermite. Howl Tooth Hollow. What does this do? You may play the Exiled card that pays mana cost. And what is the condition? If each player if each player has no cards in hand, come on. That's never happening. Your opponent can literally prevent you from playing this for the entire game. I'll just take actually we'll take a Wings of Ellis spell. We already have 16 creatures and we can use one. Nothing great here. When Triclopian Sider is a battlefield untap enchanted creature, they get plus one plus one in vigilance. It's actually not terrible as a trick. I don't think we want a second one of these or a third of these. I'll just take the Triclopian Sight. I bet Thorn is a couple of ticks, but this is a Phantom Draft, so I'm not too concerned with the number of tickets that the Phantom cards are. Got him. Oh my god, it's all Paperfin Rascals. It's all the way down. I'm gonna take this Moon Glove Extract. Considering we got like Stony Brook Angler eighth pick, I'm I imagine we can get some decent rares or some decent Merfolk in the later packs, but Nalia Babawa. Scooby doo doo do 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 Scooby doo do Scootin do didn't do Scootle do let it do Scootle it do 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 Mm. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying right here. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're going to play this guy. That's a good dude. I mean, we have no Silver Guild Dowsers, which is unfortunate. I do like a good Silver Guild Dowser, but... That on the enchantment needs full screen viewing. Which enchantment? I'll take captivating glance. Physical. I wanna I wanna get paper fin. Paper fin. I wanna get that's good. I actually didn't know what that song was until I was thinking more I was thinking more of chilies like barbecue sauce, like I want my paper fin, paper fin, paper fin, paper fin. Like that, kinda like that, Jobby. But um you know. Yours works too, I guess. 
Oh, we can take this thorn. No, I'm just going to take the Whirlpool Whelm, which is pretty good. We have a lot of four drops here. What are we cutting? We need to cut like one one card. Hmm. Actually, it might be Whirlpool Whelm. We already have Surge Spanner, Cryptic Command. Ring Skipper. I'm pretty sure this is our deck. We do only have five white cards, but they're all very good, so. Cut cryptic because blue is garbage. Banned. Blocked. I think 10 7 is where we want to be. Uh, I don't want to go down to 6. But I like this deck. This deck seems sweet. Let's make sure everything's good. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Rare is good, rare is good, rare is good. Uncommon and uncommon are good. Uncommon is good. Yeah, this deck seems gas. I wanna get physical. And now that song is stuck in my head. Rob, why? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright, this is actually a great hand. I'm gonna bottom this little cutie, because we don't really need another two drop. Alright, well, this is good. Is 15 hour stream gonna be nothing but magic? We might do other things. I bet we can, I bet we can figure out how to do some other things. That is a nice four drop. So we can actually just go play this on four and then have, we can actually just re, that's also a good one. Uh, I definitely don't want to, I don't, I don't know why I don't attack here. I just don't like the idea of doing it into untapped mana. If they have like guilt leaf ambush, then they get to clash and potentially kill this guy for one damage. And I just don't think it's very good. I mean, I, I always enjoy when we play other games, but... Like, if we just summon the school here, and then we can get back summon the school this turn, that seems pretty insane. I kind of like veteran better, though, because next turn we can tap the veteran. Um, they still could have guilt leaf ambush, which is pretty obnoxious. Because, like, they didn't do anything on turn three. They didn't play this on turn three. I'm just going to pass here. Wizened Sen. Okay, so one, two, three, four. 
summon your boys. I really, I like, I just feel like they're, I feel like they're tricking us here. Two, three, four. Oh, always yes to this guy as well. Let's just play Sig. We'll keep this up and we'll keep the. Uh... Mm hmm. Oh, we just win this game. Cool. We didn't have to actually attack at any point. This is what happens with the Merfolk deck. You just play it and they're like, well, I can't beat all this nonsense. So I'm just going to concede. And I'm like, okay, I'll out. Cryptic command. I'm going to keep it. You had me at cryptic command. Oh, I get that music stuck in my head all the time, and I don't even know why. An island. Oh, baby. You're gonna tap one of my lands down? My planes? Whatever, dude. I don't even care. I actually wish they'd have the island because then I can give this island walk and still play Stony Brook Angler, but I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna take a turn off to do that. I'll just pass. That's a good card. Oh, we can snap some next, boy. I really don't want to bounce either of these. One is an instant creature and one is a uh, flashy boy. I mean, I'm pretty sure we'll trade with this Mole Drifter if they want to trade with the Mole Drifter. Do you think they're expecting a cryptic command? God, I play a six drop. Play like an either snipe. Don't play something cheap. I want you to play something. Whenever a non-token creature attacks, you may pay one. Actually, we have to counter that. That card's busted. Yeah, that's fine. What is this they're playing? This is just a completely different deck than what we saw.
Look at that little feller. <laughs> oh, man. What if I do one of these jobbies? God dang it. Oh my God, just really seriously. Oh my god, why isn't it grabbing this? This is really obnoxious. It's literally highlighting it. I can't grab it. There we go. We did it. Okay. That was obnoxious. Okay, so let's close this guy. And uh, no blocks. We're actually really far behind right here. I mean, we can actually play Kithkin Healer and start tapping one of these guys down each turn, so... Doesn't feel like we're too far behind, but... What? Oh my god, they did have it? Come on, dude. That's annoying. Put this on top. I wonder if they had it the whole game one and we just played around it very well. It seemed like they did, because they didn't play Fertile Ground on two. They played it on three so they could still do it. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, tap that dude. All right, well, we're at five now. Oh, don't do that. Cancel. Let's reveal Amoeboid. Whatever. I'll make this Merfolk. Muldrifter unable to untap. Hello, lady bike. Wow. 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 Wow, they really don't have they don't they don't really run out of anything, do they? Do they have overrun? What's happened? This this the game one and the game two are completely different games. This is kind of crazy. Oh my god. I'm just dying here. I'm dying on the vine over here, guys. Why does Silvergill Dowser count fairies? Because they're friends, you see. Um, sure, prevent one to myself. Seems good. Do you have more things to play? What is going on, dude? Sure.
I mean, we're taking a million in the air. We tap down this guy. We take one in the air. It's actually not the worst, I guess. They had double guilt leaf ambush, so the odds of them having one in game one is like a thousand percent. That's just literally a two-two. Well, so is that though, so. Oh, opponent disconnected. This is how we win. Do you ever see yourself getting back to paper magic like GP and stuff like that? Not really. I just have no reason to do it. I mean, they're just exhausting to do. And, like, if there's one locally, I'll probably go. I say that, and I'm probably not even going to GP Tampa. But, um, actually, I don't think I am if it's this weekend. Or next weekend. I don't know when it is. No blocks. Oh, oh, tap two, untap Merc, 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 Mercs, untap your Merc, Merc. Wish I had a way to tap this guy. One, two, three, four. I think we're just playing veteran here. I think we're dead. Like, they just have too many guys, right? Like, we can go block, 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 block. Block, 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 block. I don't know. I mean, we'll let them figure it out. Uh, if we play Benthicor this turn, we lose. I don't know if you know that, but four power in the air is it's lethal. <laughs> so we kind of have to tap something down. While Benthicor is cute, I would prefer not losing the game.
You better run, you better do what you can. Don't want to be a bulls and macho man. One, two, three, four. We're going to take one, two, and three. That's actually not bad for us if it works, if they do it. Oh, that guy's probably going to make the difference, yeah. Yep, that should be lethal. So we take one, two, three. Yep, that's game. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. Well. Hmm. I think our deck's fine. Keep. Snap, keep. Snap a reaps. If we can get an island or a uh, plains, I feel good about it. I finally put my blue black control in line. I'm at 5 0. Nice. Stalker, way to go, buddy. That is the dream. I assume we're talking about modern here. I also summon the school would be great because then we can go uh, play summon the school, get our guys back. Okay, change their mind. Fascinating. Two ticks worth of prizes from eight chests. Well, I wish that was more surprising. This Wizensen with double white seems real weird in this deck. I guess when you always draw the Amiiboid Changeling, though, it's pretty good. <laughs> it turns into tap. Like, it turns Amiiboid Changeling into a stream, stream bed Aquatex for any creature. Interesting. No attacks. Wow. Um, I actually think we're playing that. We're going to steal this stream bed. Gonna get aqua tanks, aqua tanks. I want to get aqua tanks, aqua tanks. Um, yeah, that's fine. We're not going to do anything with that. And let us pass. So if we get to untap with Familiar's Ruse and Stony Brook Angler up, it's pretty good. I accept. I accept your offer of one mole drifter. Oh, 
Rijeri. Mero Rijeri. So what, we give this guy Island Walk and plus one, plus one, and then he's like a 6-6? Six, six? I want to get physical. Oh, that's rude. I forgot how that worked. Okay, now we know. Um, yeah. We can trade with two of these guys. I think that's... Or they'd probably just trade with Moldrifter and Pestermite, right? Well, we're not going to update the deck list with a limited deck. Like, that's only for constructed. Um, actually, they have five cards. I don't care about tapping something. I'd rather just keep up. Uh... Uh, we could have blocked and then made this guy a uh, Merfolk, but then they make it lose the ability, so. Uh, isn't it the same? Yes, but it's increasingly harder. And then I end up, like, adding 35 deck lists a week to my stream decker, and it just doesn't make any sense. Plus, it's a matter of, like, going to the thing, exporting the deck list, uploading it as, like, Lorwyn draft number X, and, like, I don't know, it's just not, it's just not convenient for me as a... Well, this hand could be pretty good. Let's play the Changeling first. Let's tap this idiot down. Uh, to untap it? No, we're good. We're good. Uh, let's go this guy and this guy. We also just attack with this guy too and deal like four, five, six, seven, nine. Uh, let's untap a dude. Probably 5-5, five, five, right? And that'll be the end of the game. Alright, that's pretty good. Our deck seems sweet. I say that every time. But every time I feel like it's true. I always open chests too. I open chests in packs just because I'm the kind of person who's like, I like, I want to see what's inside. I just want to know what's in there, you know? It's probably, I mean, it's bad value. It's bad, it's bad EV as you guys would say, but I mean like nonetheless, it's, 
it's hard to do it's hard to not do it just because like the value i lose is such it's not it's not a lot in terms of uh the enjoyment of what i get a level like what it could be you know Come on, let's let's go opponents. Let's go. We can do it. Finally. Oh, uh, I'm going to keep this hand. If we hit a white or another blue, we're fine, I think. We're playing against Lobster. <laughs> Just a great name. I'm a fan. I once opened a real dead person's chest. What does that even mean? Like a cadaver? Oh my god, we're so good at this game. It's unbelievable. This guy has Island Walk. They let on Island and we have a Sig on turn two. That's freaking fantastic. Can you sing sticks? Yeah. I'm sailing away. Set an open cause. Broken ambitions. Gonna counter you, dude. They never don't have it. They're just gonna bounce our sig. Okay. Well, I wanna put this on the bottom for now. I took a semester of cadaver dissection. So, is that something you really need a whole semester of? That's interesting. Set an open course for the thing ahead. If they have lash out, I'm gonna feel real bad. But then our fallow sage lives, right? So But if they have tar fire, then our fallow sage dies. Okay, well they just countered it, so that's I guess that's fine. They didn't counter Sig, so. Oh Lord, I'll cry. Um, that's fascinating. Yeah, I'll keep that Sower of Temptation on top. <laughs> sure. Lash out on the guy that can pump himself. Does not seem ideal new Gemma see you later I guess hmm. I didn't know what to say there I was like what do we do here can we just sit behind protection I mean they have to have two spells in order to deal with these guys I don't care about that. Sure. Sure. 
Some happy, some sad. Carry on. Burn, burn, burn. Talking about rifle gains protection from the color of your choice, it's not a turn. That's obnoxious. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't care about that. We can also Sower of Temptation, that guy. Wow, I'm glad we didn't Sower last turn because then we wouldn't have been able to... Uh... Sower actually stealing Scion is pretty insane because it gives... It gives the Sower Shroud. Uh... Yeah, all right, true. Oh wow, that's pretty strong. So are Shroud stealing Scion. <laughs> I agree. What are you bouncing? You're bouncing your own dude? All right, let's let that one resolve. Uh, can I just, I feel like I just counter this. They have no cards in hand. All right, that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. You can feel it all over. You can feel it all over. I don't think we're actually boarding anything in here. Um, I don't think we care about Moonglow Extract's actually pretty decent here, I think. It just kills a lot of things we like. Or I don't care about Whirlpool Whelm as much. That's a yikes for me, dog. Four, four drops. And I'm gonna bottom this because I want planes and I also want cheaper cards, so. Well, that's not good. It's weird that I feel like we've already died. I mean, if we can hit land, land. I think we're actually okay, but... Land. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Oh my goodness, we are good at this game. This guy's never resolving, right? Am I right? You got it. But what can we do there? Um, I'll put that on the bottom. We actually don't need it at this juncture. It's the mirror cutie match. Wouldn't it be the cuter cutie mirror match?
I mean, I have to assume they have all counters in hand, right? Oh, that got resolved. Well then. Hmm, okay. He's everything, so I think Mira can go before as well. Oh, that's actually pretty meta. I'm impressed. Hmm. Okay. Good deal. One, two, three, four. They just double block here. That doesn't seem great. And I'll try to carry on. Oh, a ponder, eh? A ponderosa. They chose not to shuffle. I don't actually care about pranksters here that much. Or do I? Let's summon the school. And I kind of want a familiar ruse of this guy. We can bounce the amoeboid changeling. Neon Tokyo, eight months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Neon Tokyo Rain. Tokyo Rain. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Tokyo Rain. They just attack for four here. Like, they have to double block. I mean, that leaves them with literally just a scion over there. I'm not too familiar with Familiar's Ruse because you explained what it does. Just kidding. It was all a ruse, Dad. Wow. Wow. That's messed up. We're gonna play this and we're gonna play Changeling because we have so many four drops that if we hit a, a, a seventh land, we can play three drop and four drop. And right now we can just keep getting back the stony, the summon the school. Oh man, I forgot I was here. What a weird thing to say. What a weird thing to say. Yeah, if they're just attacking with the Scion of Una, I'm fine with that. Well, I'm a weird guy. I agree. I agree. But I accept you. Sorry, I didn't get that. Okay, well. Uh, let's play this guy. Maybe. The Shroud is kind of obnoxious, I think. I don't really want to attack now because they can still double block, but is that good? I don't know. I think we just actually summon the school and make get it back with the veteran next turn.
I have one year sober next Monday. You've been a big part of that, Frank, making me laugh and keeping me company and enjoying that. Dude, thank you so much for saying so. That's insane. What, an, what a crazy compliment, my dude. That's awesome to hear, man. I'm so thrilled for you, dude. That sounds amazing. Congrats, my dude. This was actually probably worse because we could we could keep up actual uh definitely keeping that guy. That's a good dude. Next time we can summon the school. Oh, it's Frank Love's gut shot. Who's Mink? <laughs> is that my is that my Polish friend? Uh no blocks. Oh, they won the thing, so they got to... What did they put on top? Did they keep that? Oh, they did. I'll just play this. If you want to counter this, it's fine. <gasps> it's less fine now. Alright, so we know one of the cards in their hand. Hmm. All right, that's pretty good. Oh, wow. All right, so we get a freebie. Sure. Oh, that's awesome. I was I was hoping they wouldn't change it into a fairy to kill all of our tokens, but I mean basically traded Um Okay. You want a scattering stroke this guy? Sure. Uh land and land. Okay. Well bottom. So now they have no cards in hand. Seems good. We're definitely neck snapping this Scion because it's been a little problematic here. Admiral, what's going on, my dude? So now they have one changeling. Yeah, this is fine. I said, come sail away. Come sail away with me. I like to share my instance of chat means working the way into real life. Uh, I, I've been using biscuits as an exclamation of excitement a lot lately. More intense excitement gets a buttery biscuits, which can itself be intensified into sweet buttery biscuits. Wow. That is, uh, I like the sliding scale of biscuits. I think we're actually going to take two here. Yeah, that's actually fine. Hmm. 
Okay. There was a lot of things we could have done there, actually. We could have actually... Um... I don't think it matters. I think we're actually fine. Can I get in there for one? Eh, this is fine. Did they draw an instant? Yeah, they did. Yep. And they get to bounce this guy. That's yeah, pretty brutal. Okie dokie. Sure. Okay. I'm just going to pass here. Like, we can wait till we get another creature to play this. We already have things to do, so. Okay. I feel like they're holding something, but I have no idea what it is. One year scrober. <laughs> oh, man. Can you do this? Does this work? Nope, that doesn't work. Dang, I was hoping it would be the video. Okay, so I'm still not going to play this because I'd rather just keep this and this up. Plus, this guy literally just kills you next turn if you don't have anything. Well, now is your chance. Does this guy just do the job? Oh my god. Got him. Woo! Our deck is cool. Yeah. Are we 2-0? Wow, this is this is it guys. This is it's happening. Sure, what's going on, buddy? Also, we have Sower of Temptation and Cryptic Command, which is pretty sweet. I'm pretty okay with it. I have some sad news. I feel like Modern Horizons will be the final nail in the coffin for old Bluetron. Do you really think so? How come? What if Bluetron gets some sweet additions that were not previously available? What if you get Man the Drain? <laughs> Can you imagine? Luke, I'm actually curious why you say that. Because that's interesting. That's a really interesting take.
come sail away, come sail away with me. You think the hate will be too strong for Tron? I don't think Tron's ever going to be officially hated out. Oh, look at this beautiful hand. This is how you 3-0, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to keep this. We're on the draw, and they went to six. I'm okay with it. I mean, to be fair, Mana Drain is not on the reserve list, and it has never been legal in Modern, so it is actually an option for that set. It is a ridiculous speculation, but it is a, it is a, a possible one. Yeah, that's the thing about Tron hate, right? It's very narrow. You're like, oh, cool, Tron hate. But then, like, you can only play it against Tron, and it usually dilute your win conditions by playing it. You're like, oh, man, I draw my sideboard hate, and I didn't actually draw any threats to close out the game, so I actually, despite turning off Tron, I gave them enough chances to draw natural seven lands and just hard cast Karn instead. Because instead of threats, I had sideboard cards. Like it's, it's an interesting. It's a really delicate balance that you have to have with Tron. Uh, the number one card I want to see made most legal is Lee of Old. If you guys don't follow me, I have a public Facebook page, and I post some like content on there, and you get to know when I go live. So definitely check that out. I'll link it here so you guys can follow me on there, because I actually posed this question yesterday. Oh my god. That's aggressive. Wasn't Leovold in a commander-only product? Yes, it was. What does that matter? Didn't think much of the set at the time, but it had power. It sure did. It definitely did. But even if it, it was also in Conspiracy, that's true. There was a reprint of Leobold. But even so, like, that that doesn't really, that doesn't really mean anything. You know what I mean? I thought Modern Horizons was a playing card from sets like that. Just new cards and vintage legal cards. Yeah, but it is a vintage legal card. But nowhere does it say it can't. It says, it says cards that were, that were never printed in Modern. It has Nowhere does it say where the cards had, had to come from. But yeah, okay, you're right. It wasn't in Conspiracy. It was in Ultimate Masters and in Commander. But like, that's not the point. Like, even so, it doesn't matter if it's Commander or Conspiracy. Like, why does that matter? Like, what does that have to do with anything? Oh, that was a good. That was a good one. That was a, that was a reasonable, reasonable draw.
This is nice because we have a land to discard to Una's Prowler, so I'm not too concerned with that. Deal. God, Muldrifter, why are you like this? Four or five, six. We can deal eight here. We can play Pestermite, tap down Muldrifter, and deal eight. That is a lot. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, we can also just play Silvergill Adept here, actually. That's probably better, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is actually fine. I'm worried about my health. I started playing, enjoying playing red decks. Um, it's kind of awkward. Um, you should probably go. Let's draw a Merfolk here. Oh boy. That is a Merfolk, isn't it? Let's tap down Una's Prowler because I don't want to be discarding. Man, these top decks have been great, but we also had a bunch of lands, so. If we tapped on another guy, like they have three cards in hand, so. You don't think London Mulligans could do anything? What does that mean? You mean bad or in general? Yep. Let's prevent one here. Okay, let that resolve. Play this guy. Untap this guy. This has actually worked out insanely well. We have it all, and we have it now. Yeah, we just get to kill both these guys, and none of our guys die. That seems good. All right, so we're up a game. In round thrice. They got a bunch of nerdy, nerdy McNerdersons over here. I think our deck is good enough to just submit like this. What's my favorite tribe? That's a good question. I think it might be Tree Folk. Not for any strategy reason. I just think they're cool. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. 
I don't love it, but... Oh, they let us play? Oh, that's cool. Interesting. Thoughtseize? Wow. That's a good one if we can if we can land that dude. What's a tree foil? Was that an autocorrect? That's a crazy autocorrect. I believe you mean tree foil. Come on, resolve. Oh yes. Oh, and it survives. And next time we get to play Deep Tread Marrow and keep up familiars Ruse. Oh, that's pretty good. That's unfortunate. We could attack draw a card if they block. If they block with the two goblins, I think we're already ahead there. If they block with this and we neck snap, it's also pretty good, so... Deal. Snap that neck. Pew, pew. That's a little Devo. You guys know Devo? We got one? All right, I'll give you this island. Stream bed aquatics. I don't feel like we're attacking here. But I do want to keep up. Like, I don't really see a double block here being profitable for us. I do want to keep I want to keep a fallow sage, or familiar rouge rather. Mongoloid, he was a mongoloid. I think true name nemesis would be too powerful for modern guests. There are far too few there are too few answers, unless you're also printing um Toxic Deluge. And even if you are, like, you need answers like Toxic Deluge, Council's Judgment. You just have not enough answers. Like, it's not a format. You don't have Force of Will. You don't have enough, you don't have enough answers for... Oh, watch this. You guys ready for this? Did we play a land? We did not. So we could tap all our guys. Instead, of we're just going to do it next turn. This is pretty, this is a baller turn. Mother of Runes also sounds really powerful. You gotta remember, like, Modern doesn't have the answers that formats like Legacy and Vintage do. Like, so you can't print powerful cards without also printing powerful answers. So we just draw a card. We just drew two cards. That's pretty good. I mean, if they counter this, it's fine because we have ways to get it back. I'm also not going to play Sig yet. I think that guy's a better better card to have countered. Seems good. I have eight cards in here that regularly appear in Legacy Cube. I didn't even see them say that. That's hilarious. I imagine Thoughtseize was one of them. Um, I think it's actually fine to let it happen.
Mongoloid, he was a mongoloid. <laughs> I feel like we're just winning this match. I feel good about it. What are they returning? Marsh Flitter? Sure. That was pretty good. So we can play Sig, keep Whirlpool, and keep Stony Brook Angler up. I think we definitely want to get Sig out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I actually didn't realize. Oh yeah, we can play. We can play Steambed Aquatex. I forgot we uh, had seven mana, not six. That changes everything. Father of Runes. I mean, literally, I mean, there's Cabal Therapist, so there literally could be Father of Runes. But then you then you also run the risk of having uh, Legacy Death and Taxes having eight copies of, of Parental Runes, Parental par Parents of Runes. Mother of runes, do 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 do. Father of runes, do 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 do. Baby of runes, do 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 do. The death in Texas probably wouldn't play more than five. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. They wouldn't play. They'd only play five. Skeletal, skeletal man. Like, I'm just not going to take down Sig's protection at, after this point, just because it doesn't really make any sense to do so. Summon the school is not a, not a reasonable magic card. Island walk is not a reasonable ability against decks with islands in them. All these things are good. They're like, well, that's it. <laughs> I don't know when that was, actually. I think it was probably when I cast Sig, actually. So that would be my assumption. Yeah, it turns out Merfolk is pretty strong. Oof. Good games. Good games. All right. We did it. We did it. 3-0. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon, as I mentioned in the beginning. Those links are in the description below. It really helps. Uh, it's a great way to support the content that you guys are watching here on YouTube for free. Really appreciate that. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.